less than a second and a half separates the top seven swimmers. Look for the top two to touch the wall and represent the U.S. in London. Hansen up there in lane three, two lanes below him is Shanto, and again in the middle is Burkle. Boy, Burkle got off to a fast start. He was a tenth of a second faster off the blocks than Eric Shanto, which is right, who, who's right underneath Burkle. Burkle with that white cap, and Hansen taking it out strong in the very beginning. Hansen third from the top in lane three. They go four lengths of the pole in this 200 distance. Hansen with a lead, followed by Burkle second, and Shanto was third. Scott Welts was fourth. Eddie Reese said he doesn't have to put it all in that first 50. He's talking about Brendan Hansen, his swimmer, and I don't think he did. He looked very long that first 50, and that's the key here in the breaststroke. Don't sacrifice speed for that distance per stroke you need going into this first 100 turn. There's Burkle sneaking up on Hansen. Burkle's in lane four, just below Hansen. And then you've got Chateau in lane five. They are the top three as they hit the halfway mark. It is Burkle now over Hansen. And then Chanteau running third still. Well, I was talking to head coach Dave Salo, the coach who coaches Eric Chanteau, and he says he's feeling really confident now. Got that monkey off his back. And making that 100 breaststroke, you see him right there in front. I really expect him to start making this move right about now, heading into this 150. It's Hanson, Burkle, and Chanteau lined up across the middle of the pool. Hanson in lane three does not have the lead anymore, and it looks like Chanteau's going to have the lead as they hit the final 50. Chanteau in the lead, followed by Welts. Burkle was third, and Hanson had faded to fourth. Watch Welts, Dan. Watch Welts. He's right there. He was out really slow, but he didn't let the field get away from him. Three, four swimmers bunched up as they head for the final 20 meters. I Welts think in Welts lane has six. a little advantage. Scott Welts in lane six has moved ahead of the pack. Up above him is Chanteau running second. Hansen up there in lane three trying to stretch. It's going to be Welts and Merkel. One, two. Hansen and Chanteau shut out. The two guys we thought had the best chance, Hanson and Chanteau, and you, as you said, Dan, shut out. Boy, you just had a feeling Welch was starting to come on at the 150, and the key there was he didn't let him get out of his sight. Look at him right in front of you, Burkle with that white cap, going neck to neck with Hanson and Chanteau, and I thought Chanteau might get him at the end, but he didn't, eight one hundredths of a second. Here again, watch this finish. Look at Chanteau, he looked like he clearly had it with about stroke left, but he was a little, look at the lunge that Kirk Bur uh, Burkle made. Did you see that lunge that he made to get second, Dan? Unbelievable, that's probably the best lunge I've ever seen at the end. It didn't work out four years ago for Hansen, and it doesn't work out again here in 2012. Scott Welch is now the third fastest American in history. Clark Burkle's behind him. Shanto and Hansen will not swim this event in London. Scott, you were 37th in trials four years ago. How did you pull this off? Uh, you know, I owe it all, I think, to my coach. Um, ever since day one, I told him I wanted to come back and start swimming after I took a little break. And he said, all right, you know, if you're in it, I'm into it 100%, and I think you can make the team. And he never stopped believing. And he told me every day I could do it, and, you know, I started to believe him, and then I believed him coming to the meet, so. So you're an Olympian, Clark Burkle, your sister, and you follow in her tradition now. What's it feel like to be an Olympian? I mean, right now, it's, I'm just in shock. I mean, I'm just so happy to do it with Scott. I, I looked up at the board, and I thought I was fourth. I couldn't really see. I was disoriented, and now I'm just so proud to be a part of what my sister did and a part of what, you know, everyone's doing here. Congratulations, guys. Great, great race, Dan.